Hello, welcome to our LVDS educational series with Texas Instruments. My name is Charlie Tsai. In this video, I'll expand on the three communication topologies, provide an overview of MLVDS, explain failsafe, and briefly go over BLVDS. In the previous video, I have explained the LVDS standard and its operation. I have established the idea that LVDS is just a physical layer. MLVDS is the same. M stands for multipoint. It is a physical layer standard first published in early 2002 as TIA EIA A99. This standard brings all of the LVDS benefits to multipoint data transmission world. Before I talk about MLVDS, let's look at the three different topologies. The first one is point to point. A point to point interface consists of a single driver and a single receiver connected by transmission media. The point-to-point -point connection provides the optimal configuration from a signaling quality viewpoint. Mainline stubs and other discontinuities are avoided, and the highest possible signaling rate can be expected. The point-to-point -point topology supports simplex communication, where the data transmission is unidirectional. The second one is multi-drop. In a multi-drop system, a single driver is again used, but now multiple receivers are connected to the main transmission line. Where line termination is necessary, a single termination is located at the far end of the line from the transmitter. Like point-to-point, -point, a multi-drop connection provides unidirectional transmission. The third one is multipoint. In a multipoint configuration, many transmitters and many receivers can be interconnected on a single transmission line. The key difference here is the presence of two or more drivers. Such a situation creates contention issues that need not to be addressed with point-to-point -point or multi-drop system. To support the location of the various drivers throughout the transmission line, double termination of the transmission line is not necessary. Multi-point operation allows for bidirectional half-duplex communication over a single balanced media pair. Half-duplex is a term referring to non-simultaneous bidirectional communication. Think of it as using walkie-talkie to communicate. You can talk both ways, but only one person can talk at a given time. In comparison, full duplex is the term for simultaneous bidirectional communication, which allows both ends to communicate simultaneously. With the understanding of these three topologies, let's look at why MLVDS standard is needed. LVDS technology initially can only support point-to-point -point applications and later the standard was revised to support multi-drop application. However, multi-point application is still not supported by LVDS standard. Multi-point application introduces a new set of problems. For example, the main transmission line needs to be double terminated in multi-point system, whereas LVDS drivers are specified for driving a 100 ohm load. In multi-point system, Using a 100 ohm transmission media, the load appears as 50 ohm or even lower. With typical LVDS drive strength, 350 millivolt swing cannot be guaranteed. Instead of overhauling existing standard, a new standard, MLVDS, was established which included many unique features to address issues when operating with multi-point applications. There are a few key differences between LVDS and MLVDS which are presented in this table. The main difference is that MLVDS has increased drive strength of 11.3 mA and 50 ohm drive load. While a multipoint system can be expected to look like 50 ohm to a driver, closely spaced nodes can easily result in capacitive loading that drops the effective load seen by the driver to 30 ohm. The 11.3 mA output ensures that MLVDS drivers still provide greater than 300 mV under these conditions. MLVDS also has a wider common mode input voltage to accommodate the possible range of voltages that can be presented to the bus. A tighter sensitivity range was also introduced which provides improved noise margins when using MLVDS devices. The only drawback with MLVDS is the lower maximum data rates. This is needed to support long stops in multipoint system. A 1 nanosecond minimum transition time is specified, 
which limited MLEDs to 500 megabits per second, but the steps can be as long as 2 inches. An added feature to MLVDS standard is receiver failsafe. The LVDS standard does not specify any requirements for receiver failsafe. Receivers were simply specified to correctly detect the input states when at least 100 mV was available. The MLVDS standard has specified two classes of receivers to bring standardization to failsafe implementation. The standard uses the nomenclature Type 1 and Type 2 to refer to these two type of receiver classes. Type 1 receivers are similar to LVDS receivers with improved threshold. Type 2 receivers have an offset threshold. Bus input signals that are less than 50 mV are defined to be low state. Greater than 150 mV results in a high state. Type 1 receivers are expected to be used for maximum speed signals such as data or clock lines. Type 2 receivers are useful for low-speed applications, such as control lines. Besides LVDS and MLVDS, BLVDS is a commonly used signaling method. BLVDS stands for Bus LVDS. Unlike LVDS and MLVDS, Bus LVDS is not standardized. It was invented by National Semiconductor, now part of Texas Instruments. It is similar to the implementation of MLVDS, but with different drive strengths. BLVDS should be considering heavily loaded backplane applications, where card loading and spacing lower the impedance of the transmission line to as much as 50%. TI offers a wide range of MLVDS driver and receiver that is suitable for different applications. For full portfolio, please go visit ti.com LVDS. Thank you for watching this video.